you can now remotely power wash Chromebooks from inside the Google Admin Console. I'm going to show you where this setting is located and when you should use it. This video is sponsored by Visor, a Chromebook management solution designed specifically for schools and districts. Visor helps you manage thousands of Chromebooks and other IT assets. Visor seamlessly integrates with the Google Admin Console and your student information system. You can schedule a no obligation demo of Visor and receive up to 20% off your first year. Hi, my name is John Silwash. Welcome back to the Google Admin Bootcamp. The ability to reset a Chromebook using the Power Wash feature has been a wonderful aspect of Chrome OS for many, many years. Anytime your Chromebook is being weird or slow or causing you issues, a Power Wash typically resolves it. Now, most of the time, an individual user has to initiate the Power Wash command by logging into the device. This means it's a lot of work for an IT administrator who needs to Power Wash hundreds or thousands of devices. Not anymore. You can now remotely power wash or reset a Chromebook. I have a Chromebook right here that is set up for student use and I'm gonna set this up so that you can see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and log into the admin console and initiate the power wash command. Now to access the power wash setting, you just need to browse to the device that you're looking at. So I'm gonna go to devices, and then I'm gonna click on Chrome. This will list all of my devices, and I'm gonna click on the device I'm interested in resetting. So it's this uh, HP right here. And on the left side of the screen, you will see the option that says reset. Now, I don't know why Google didn't say power wash. It's exactly the same thing, but inside the admin console, it's called reset. Now, you can go ahead and click on reset. It's not going to do anything. You have two different ways that you can reset the device. Option one is to clear the user profile. This will um, delete any locally saved information, but doesn't actually fully reset the operating system, the drivers, and things like that. It's kind of power wash light, a nice scrub. This is the ideal setting to use before the school year starts, if you have you know, all of your Chromebooks in storage and you want to blow away all of the old user accounts so that you can just hand devices out to students at the beginning of the school year, this is a great option. As soon as they sign into the Chromebook, it'll pull down their profile and all their apps and extensions and bookmarks and, and browser settings will be there. The only thing that is not restored during a power wash would be anything that's saved in the downloads folder on the device, that will be lost. So make sure that your users aren't saving important files into their downloads folder. Now the second option down below is a full factory reset. This is the traditional power wash, will completely reset the operating system. I would only recommend this option in extreme circumstances. Make sure that you have automatic re-enrollment enabled so that once your device is reset, it'll pull down your policies and um, you'll be back up and running. Now the downside to the full factory reset is it will erase your Wi-Fi information from the device. So while you can initiate the power wash through the admin console, you're still going to have to touch every single device to reconnect it to the network initially so that it has time to pull down your policies and you'll, you, then you'll be back up and running. For a simple kind of device cleanup, I would use the clear user profile option. If you're having specific issues or problems with the device or if the operating system is corrupted, then I would try the factory reset option. Now this process is incredibly fast and it just immediately works. So I'm gonna go ahead and say clear user profile. Uh, we've got this Chromebook set up right here. I'm gonna click the reset button and you'll see how fast it is. This works even if the user is signed in. There it goes. So you don't want to initiate the clear profile command when users are actively using the device. It simply restarts, it eliminates all saved accounts, all saved data, we're back to the login screen, the user signs in, and they're back up and running. The ability to power wash any Chromebook remotely is great, but you can also power wash all of them. Now, this is a little dangerous, so be careful, but if you are preparing for the upcoming school year and you want to power wash all of your devices, you can go into your listing of all of your devices, select all, and you do have the option to reset 
all selected devices. Now, when you do this, you're gonna see a little status symbol up at the top that will show you the progress. It will show you how many devices have been successfully reset and which ones have not yet been reset. The devices do need to be powered on and awake. So if the lid is closed, um, they won't power wash. Now, as soon as the user opens them up, they'll initiate the power wash sequence. So you can go ahead and send the command, hand out your devices. The first time those devices are booted up, um, the power wash will, uh, will take place. It's so fast that your students probably won't even know it's happening and they'll have a nice, fresh, clean Chromebook uh, ready to go. If you enjoyed this Google Admin tip, then I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. I share tips on managing Google Apps for Education and Chromebooks. Um, you can check out some of my latest videos by clicking up here.